In today's video, I will teach you how to do batch processing in Photoshop. Let's get started. First, open the image that you would like to edit in Photoshop. Now, go to Window and select Action or simply press Alt F9 on your keyboard. In the Action panel, create a new set folder by clicking on the folder icon. And rename the set according to the edits that you would like to make for this batch of photos. For this batch, I would like to make some color adjustments, so I will rename it Color Adjustments. Now, make sure to select the new set that you have created, then click on the new action icon right next to the new set icon and rename it to whatever edits you would like to make. For example, I'm going to adjust the saturation, so I will rename the folder Saturation. Now, make sure to select the new set that you have created before pressing Record. Once you see the red circle on the Actions panel, any adjustment that you make at this point will be recorded. Now, you can make any edits to your image and you can see the actions being recorded on the Actions panel. Once you're done editing the photo, you can now save it to your computer to whichever file type you want. Once the image is saved to your computer, you can now press the Stop Recording button. Now, to apply those adjustments to multiple images at once, simply click on File, go to Automate, and select Batch. In the Batch window, make sure to select the set and action that you have created and recorded. Now. In the Source option, set it to Folder, and choose the folder where you save the images that you wish to apply the edits to. Make sure to check Suppress File Open Options dialogs and Suppress Color Profile Warnings. Now, you can select a file destination for the batch that you are about to edit. To do this, select Folder as a destination and click Choose. One thing you can do is to save the edited photos in the same folder as the unedited ones, or you can create a new folder for the edited batch of photos and click Select Folder. You can also set file names for each photo in the File Naming section before you click OK. And now you can do batch processing in Photoshop. If you find this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can get updated whenever we upload new tutorials.